Hi everybody, it's Jilly here from funcrafttodoathome.com and I have another free printable for you. In this video I'm going to show you what I did with these designs and then you can go onto my website which is www.funcrafttodoathome.com and you can download the printable print it on glossy paper and you can use the same designs for your own projects. For this video I made some pendants and a pair of earrings but you could easily use these designs to make card toppers, you could use them for scrapbooking embellishments and here's the design. It's six inches by four inches and if you print it out onto glossy paper and use a one inch circle punch there's loads of different things that you could use these designs for. Now to get this design you need to go onto my website and you will need the password to get into the page where I put my free designs. So you're probably wondering how you get the password. Well the password is going to pop up somewhere in this video so if you watch the whole video you will have the password by the end okay so keep watching and have a pen and paper ready so that when the password pops up you can write it down and go on over to the website to get your freebie I'm now going to show you all the things that you will need to create the same kind of pendants that I made but of course you're going to have your own ideas and these are just guidelines to show you what you could do. I used some very heavy duty multicoloured card. I got mine from Lidl's in the UK. Not sure when they'll have it in again. You have to watch out for it. And of course you will need the designs. And choose some card colours that complement the designs. Or contrast with. You can use these one inch glass domes or cabochons as they're called to enhance the design or you can use these resin stickers that go over the design and if you're wondering where you can get all these things if you go onto my website there's a link, link at the end of the video you will find links to my Amazon shops where you can get mostly all of the things that you see in my videos so I also use some tacky glue and some clear gloss, some diamond glaze. Oh, and you will also need some double-sided tape, some 1 inch or 25 millimeter washers that you can get in the hardware store, and a 1 inch circle punch, a 2 inch square punch. And the next few images are self-explanatory. You can see what I did with all these things to create the pendants. So you stack them all together, the six squares, stack them all together, give them a good coat of PVA on the sides and the back. Just just leave, leave the front. Don't don't put PVA on the front. Use your double sided tape to glue two of the square stacks together. Cut your design so that it's easy to get the circle punch right up close to the edge of your design. Now when you punch these, take the bottom out of your circle punch and turn it upside down like I've done here. And make sure that there's no white space when you punch. Make sure the whole area is completely filled with the design like this. So use the diamond glaze to stick the glass dome on top of the design. Just one tiny drop like this. Push down so the glue spreads and you don't get any air bubbles. We don't want air bubbles. So 
So you'll see me sticking this onto the two squares of cardboard. Um, but obviously you can do whatever you want with these designs. These cardboard pendants are more for a project to do with children um, to help them learn about recycling and all sorts. So, oh yeah, I used the clear gloss to paint the un the unsealed surface of the card. So there's the ones with jump rings. And there's one that I I used the resin sticker on that one and put it in a bottle cap. This is where the washers come in. I made some earrings, put resin stickers on them, stuck with designs to the washers. Then on the back I put some darker coloured card which I then sealed with some clear nail polish. And then I just glued some earring findings to the back. And they make really inexpensive, bright, colourful earrings that you can make lots of different designs. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular updates of all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you missed that password to get the free design, that password is just for you. And that's all one word but with a capital J, capital F, capital Y. And here is how you use that password. Go onto my website. Scroll down the black bar to the left until you get to where the list of pages is and then scroll down to where it says free printable designs. Double click on there and that will bring up this protected free printable designs page. So you put the password in there and it's just for you and each word has a capital letter. Enjoy the designs and I will see you in the next video. Bye!